Hi, my name is Daniel Bustet, and I will show you how to UV map in Blender 2.8. We're going to work with this mechanical model here. First, let's go to the UV editing tab. Make sure we're in UV editor mode. Let's create a new material down here. New, base color, image texture. New, let's call that UV. Do 2K, make sure it's a color grid, and press OK. We can't see any texture right now, but we'll have to go into the look dev mode up here. Now let's go into edit mode, either by going up here or pressing edit, and sorry, tab, and then edit mode. I'm going to select everything and then access the UV menu by pressing U. Then I'm going to select Smart UV Project, which is great for mechanical models, and just press OK. I want to, I don't want to see the texture, so I'm just going to or remove it from the view real quick. Down here, I can see my last my settings for my last operator. I can also access these through the uh, pressing F9 and get a hovering window. So if I have a very low angle limit, Blender will split up. The model in uh, a lot of small UV islands. So I'm going to increase that. Now I can also play around the area weight to get different results. The way Blender works with UV is that you're usually in the 3D viewport and add seams to your model and then unwrap instead of working mostly in the UV editor like in Maya for instance. So, enable to see your UVs, you gotta select part of your model or the entire model with A. This is very confusing to new users, so if you want to have a behavior similar to Maya, you go up here and press this sync selection. So now you can see your UV map all the time, and your selection in the viewport will be uh, selected in the 3D view as well. So let's add some seams. Let's go up to the UV editor, uh, sorry, the menu here, and press seams from islands. That will create seams along every UV island. And you can see the seams marked with red here in the 3D viewport. To do a new unwrap, you can select everything with A, and press U, and just press unwrap. We'll get a new unwrapping here. But what can speed up the process even more is activating live unwrap. This means that when you add or remove seams, you, you, your model will be unwrapped automatically. So let's try that real quick. Gonna select edge mode here or pressing two on the keyboard, pressing this edge, and then control pressing this. So you get the shortest path. And then I'm gonna go to control E. And here you have mark seam or clear seam. And I really recommend that you set your own shortcuts by right clicking, change shortcut, hovering over and press the shortcut. So now I'm gonna clear the seams. And as you can see, the unwrapping is updated in the UV viewport. I would like to tie this area together a bit better. As you can see in the UV editor, there's a bunch of big holes here. So what you can do is hover over the model and press L. This means that you get your linked, every polygon that are connected to the polygon that you're hovering over will be selected. And you can delimit this, for instance, by pressing seam down here. This is your settings for your last operator. So by doing this, I can press shift M, which is my own shortcut for removing seams. Then I can press L again, shift M, L, shift M, L shift M, etc. Another workflow for doing this would also be going to faces by pressing three and alt clicking this edge ring. Now I get an entire selection around there. Gonna shift alt click this. Otherwise it's gonna replace my selection. So shift alt. Now I'm gonna temporarily hide these polygons by pressing H. You can also access this through the mesh menu. Go to show hide, reveal hidden, Hide selected and hide unselected, for instance. Now I can hover over these polygons, press L, and then I can remove the delimiter of seam. Now I get this entire area, and I can just press U, project from view, unhide my hidden polygons, go up to UV, 
seen from islands do a new UV unwrap. And now this entire area sits together. Areas like this little inset right here can be combined to a UV islands by going to phases, press, control click, shift M. You can see it here. You can do the same thing here, hovering over, pressing L. If you have the this on, you need to be in face mode. Otherwise, that selection is not going to work. And sometimes you really want to do edits in the UV editor as well. There's a bunch of ways that you can do this. Let's try this for instance. You can press Ctrl E and you can mark seam or clear seam. There's also another technique. So if I select this, down here you have stitch with the shortcut V. If I press V, I can see that this edge belongs to this one as well. Blender sort of shows you how it's gonna set it up. Take note of this area. Here you have some options. For instance, S as in snap is now off. Pressing S again, put snap on. M is the midpoint, which makes the uh, edges meet halfway. You can also just apply and change the settings afterwards. This piece here is a bit bent, so I'm gonna straighten it out. So select the UV island by hovering over and press L, moving it over here. Now I wanna select the edge loop over here. Shift Alt. Now since I'm in sync mode, I've got edges selected here, here, and here, since they are all corresponding to each other. I'm gonna remove the sync mode. Just press A to select everything. Then Shift Alt UV, weld the line. And we got this great function, align auto. Shift Alt A is what I've set it to. You can also right click and add it to your quick favorites. And there we go. Now I'm gonna pin this with P. You can find that over here. Doing the same thing here. Just apply an auto, press P, select it, press U to unwrap. And it's a bit more straight. You can do the same thing here. P, P. Now I wanna unwrap those little rivets over here. I'm gonna hover over this one and press L. Remove the delimiter and then select similar face regions. This way, since they are all built from the same mesh originally, Blender can find them. Shift H to hide all unselected objects. I'm just going to remove all the seams. Then I will select this face and then I will select all the faces that are pointing down, like so by using select, similar, normal. Nice. Now I can go to the border of this selection by using the search function. You can find it here, operator search, F3, boundary loop, then press M. The rivers are now unwrapped, but the texel density is different. So I'm just gonna select everything and press U, unwrap. There's still some kinks to the UV map here. You can see, for instance, that this area is not inside of the one-to-one -one space. We can pack this by going to UV, Pack Islands. If you have issues with islands that are of different scale, for instance here, you can select everything, go to UV, Average Island Scale, and then Repack. Another interesting feature is that Live Unwrap it's available in the UV editor as well. I'm gonna show you how it works. Let's turn it on. And I'm gonna pin this and this and this. Now by moving the pinned vertices, it becomes almost like a puppet warp. So this is nice. Another way of controlling your UVs. This piece here is only built by a grid. So I'm going to use a nice add-on cold text tools to unwrap that one. Let's go to preferences, add-ons, choose UV. And I got text tools right here. So I'm going to activate it. And now I can access it on this right hand side over here. I will leave a link in the description to the download place and um, some info page. So if we go to the UV layout, we've got something called Rectify here. Nice. Here I have a symmetrical creature and on the left side of the creature 
it's got its proper seams, but I would like to copy those over to the other side. So what I do then is select one of the seams, press select similar seam. Now I want to mirror my selection. So I'm going to search for mirror select down here. Select mirror and make sure you have extend on and the proper axis. Now you can just go into your edge menu and mark seam and you're done. Another way of adding seams to your model is by using the pick shortest path tool and then go into its settings and instead of select choose tag seam and it will add a seam or if the seam is already there it will remove the seam so this will be really powerful in combination with live unwrap If your model doesn't have a checker map yet, you can assign one by pressing this button one or several times to get a different type of checker map. If your UV layout is outside of the bounds of the texture, you can press crop. And if you want to use your entire UV space, you can press fill, but this introduces stretching as well. If you have a UV island that is slightly off rotation, you can select an edge and then align to make it align. For some reason I don't get align world to work very well. I guess it has something to do with the port or uh, perhaps I'm using it wrong. You can also align vertices like so, down, to the left, or to the right. You can rotate your UV island and you can sort them horizontally like so, or vertically. You can also straighten your selection and relax the non-selected parts of your UV island. Rectify is something we checked earlier. If you have a model that is built as a tube, you can select an edge loop and then press edge peel to get a really good unwrapping. If you have two different models with different texel density, you can go into one, select everything here, sample the texel density, then go into the other model and press apply. It is scattered out here, so I'm just going to pack that. You have a button called similar here. If you select a UV island and then press similar, it will select all the other which has the same polygon count. If you have two UV islands that overlap a bit, you can select this and get a sort of notification on uh, which islands overlap. The button bounce will select the edge boundary of each UV island. The button bounce will select all the boundary edges of each UV island, like so. If you have an UV island that's flipped, you can press this button and check which it is. The button UV smoothing will add a hard edge to the boundaries of each UV map as well. You can see here now that we have hard edge here and here. And this can make it easier when you're working with game assets. Text Tools also has a bunch of other features and I uh, encourage you to go into the Text Tools website found in the description and check out the rest of the features. Another great add-on for packing UVs is UV Pack Master 2.0, which works for um, Blender 2.8 costs $20 currently and uh, it's worth every penny in my opinion. Packmaster does a really good job at packing a lot of UV islands. Blender can pack pretty good but as you can see there's a lot of uh, dead space here even though you lower the margin. In order to pack select or your UV islands and just select pack and Packmaster will do a great job. Afterwards you can press measure area it's covering about 62% instead of Blender's 48%. You can also do a heuristic pack, which is basically just packing and packing over and over until it finds the best packing possible. And you can interrupt this at any time. So right now it's at 65% and I'm going to settle with that. UV Pack Master also has a great overlap check. 
Just select everything, press overlap check. And these are the overlapping islands. You can also check, uh, check pack to others, which locks the non-selected islands and packs the selected. Another feature that can be useful for game assets is locking overlapping UV islands. These won't overlap exactly, but enough for showing you how it works. So I just need to check lock overlapping and pack and these four UV islands will still be overlapping. Another interesting feature is that you can pack to a non-square texture ratio. So if you create a new texture, make the width double 2K versus 1K, everything looks really stretched. Now um, just use use texture ratio, adjust islands to texture and then pack. Nice.